is insane. Yeah. Shall we do a drag race then? How organised may be? Oh, messy boot. So cold today. Are you filming my ass? No, drone in. Bag can go in the front. All right, let's head out. Right, hello guys. We are. Oh my god. Easy. We are um, on the way to a little lay-by and a long road, so we can fly the drone. I've got Hannah with me today. Yeah, she's going to be the driver because I want to test out the sport mode on the drone. I flew it up the other week and. I've had my drone for like two months, two, three months now. No, more than that. Five months? Yeah, about five months. And I never tried the sport mode. And you probably saw my vlogs in San Francisco and in Venice. I didn't even know how to do the sport mode. It's because like there was a little sticker on the edge of the controller, which was hiding the buttons and I never ever took it off. So I looked like some YouTube videos had to do it and now I've activated sport mode. Um, so the drone can go 45 miles an hour. So we're really gonna try that. So I'm gonna like stay in the car, I control it from the car, and you're gonna drive and see if you can keep up with the car going 45 miles an hour. It's a cool idea. Yeah. Yeah. Not a bad idea. So we're gonna try that. Not gonna lie, we just had to go back home because I forgot my bloody cable. I always forget it when I bring the drone, but there was a package for me at home. Happy socks sent me a Christmas present for being a part of the Happy Crew and for a fantastic year together. Yeah, so I've done some work with these guys in the past um, and they sent me a care package. It's cool. Thank you, Happy Socks. It's not an ad. It's not an ad for Happy Socks. It's just they sent me a package like and it happened to be home when I forgot the cable. So I've met, I can't believe... Potter. Huh? Harry Potter. Harry Potter with these glasses. I only wear them driving though. So apparently on the, because they have a new Phantom 4 Pro out now, and apparently that can do like, I don't know if it's 60, 60 miles an hour, but 45 miles an hour is still quick. And like the only upgrades are that, and some more sensors, and it can do 4K 60 frames per second. So I don't really shoot that much 4K to need that. So we'll stick with this one for now. So let's get this in the air, and let's see what happens with this. Where's the SD card? That will be the next thing. It's getting super cold now, like four degrees out. Power on the drone. Get my antennas in the air. It's nice and quiet now actually, it'll be a perfect time. <gasps> Say that, there's a car coming just now. GPS updated. Ready to fly. <laughs> All right, let's get in the car then. Right, we are uh, we are recording. What's he doing? Oh, I don't know. He probably wants to reverse around. I'm about to take the mic off of the um, my camera, so I hope this sounds alright. Right, the drone is just hovering. Right, we are recording. Where's the car? Okay, I can see you. Let's come down a bit. Which way do you want me to go? Go right. How fast are you going at the moment? 30. You're going 30, okay, keep that speed. I haven't got it in sport mode yet. It's keeping up pretty well as it is. There's a van behind me now. Okay, I'm going to switch it to sport mode. Okay, it's in sport mode. He's going to take it away. Oh, <laughs> he's overtaken. Right, how fast are you going? 30. Oh my god, I'm catching up. I'm actually catching up. You can see all the propellers in the bloody thing though. That looks sick! Oh, so hard to control. This is all manual by the way, I haven't got it on active track. Okay, I'm going 42. Okay, I'm at 45. 45, right, it's staying there, it's got good, good lead on you. Signal's like completely 
kept on for quite a while there. Oh my god, the app's just crashed. No. Okay, where are you? I can't see there it. There it is. Right, it should pick up now. I don't know why it's not moving. There it is. Demonstrate how fast this actually goes. Do it over the field though. So if you film over there, you can see it? Yeah, bring it down. Oh! How do I zoom? Okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> wow! That is so quick! That is insane! Okay, now it coming back, it's gonna go over the car. Ready? You can see it? Oh, yeah. It. The birds like it. <laughs> okay, land it now. Oh my god, slow it down. <laughs> Backwards. drag race then. So if you, I stay out the car, it'll only be to like 45 miles an hour. So it's like zero to 45 miles an hour. If you start there and I'll have the drone above you, yeah. And where am I going to turn around? Just, well, just go down the road and then come back. Okay. Um, and I'll put the camera here somewhere, I'm filming it, and see who gets 45 miles an hour quicker. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know how we're going to clock the speed though. Come on, it's cold. Okay, I know. You beep. You beep when okay. you get to 45, yeah? Okay. And then we'll see who... So who went? So if the drone is ahead of you, that means the drone's one to forty-five mm -hmm. miles an hour. If the drone's behind you and you've beeped, that means the drone's lost to forty-five. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how to clock the speed. Beat the car. Okay, it's got no battery now. Shit. Incoming, here it comes. Wow, that is absolutely insane. I did not expect the drone to beat um, the car, the Audi TT. Which can go to 60, her car can go to 60 in like 5.6, I think it is. 5.6 seconds, so she went to 45. So the drone, and she beeped and the drone was in front of us, so that means the drone beat her to 45, 45 miles per hour. That's incredible, I could be like, I'm a drone racer, call me a drone racer, man. Hell yeah, beat your little car, bro. Props to DJI for being an absolute beast. <laughs> That's crazy. Whew. <laughs> How'd you feel about being beaten by a drone? Oh yeah, you did. It's crazy though, isn't it? Now the drone can beat a car like this to 45 miles per hour. But it is like a 5.9 second car. 
Yeah, that's what I just said on the um, on the cam. You beeped and the drone was away in front, and then after that you took off and the drone couldn't keep up. Oh, my ears. It's so cold out there. It is freezing. And windy really batters your ears. But wow, that is that is insane. I thought like it'd be very close, but the thing is it's so light and it's just power all like to the front and it just goes, it just takes off, just flies. So yeah, if you pull up to an Audi TT and you've got a drone, drone will win to 45 miles an hour. <laughs> Won't go any further, <laughs> just 45 miles an just hour. Just 45. Yeah, no, that's sick. Yeah, I hope the footage looks all right. <laughs> so it was all like shaky and stuff. It's so hard to control the drone when you're going that speed. Ooh. Um, I didn't have any active track on because I wanted to like control it myself. If I had active track on, I don't know if it would have like stayed with the drone. I don't know if you can do it while you're in sport mode as well. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. Fair test, I think. Yeah, fair. Yeah, we didn't have a speedometer on the on my phone, so I don't know how fast the drone is actually going, but we knew how fast you were going. Yeah. Drone beats car, drone beats TT. Mm. Go get some petrol then, because you've gassed the shit out of it. Right, so we are back home now, um, after testing the drone in sport mode. Yeah, a few things. <laughs> You're right over there. Yeah, a few things. It's very good uh, up until you get too far away from your subject and it loses signal and then it's just hanging in the air there and you have to drive back and try and find where it is. Um, that's strange because I've upped the, the distance on the app. I didn't know you can do this. You can just go into settings and make it so um, the signal is way further from the controller. And also you can change the altitude as well. Yeah, I put them. I put the distance to the highest it can go. I can't find it right now on the app, but um, yeah, it still seems to cut out. So I, might, I probably need to look at that again and try and figure out how to get the maximum distance. Um, I'm surprised I actually kept up with the car going 45 miles an hour. <clears throat> um, it kept that speed, didn't? Because I, I had the throttle like fully pushed forward, further as it can go, um, and it didn't slow down. It only slowed down when it lost signal when the car went and picked up speed to go up to like 70 mph. Yeah, so if you're like going out, I do recommend to like plan your shots because this wasn't the shots weren't planned. I was just trying to like to de demonstrate the um, the sport mode and how actually quick it is because it's ridiculously fast. Um, yeah, so if you do go out, I would plan your shots exactly how you want them and have like two or three cars going around if you want to shoot cars um, from the sky. You'll get on with it very well, I think. When I wrote down the idea for this video, the next day the bloody um. Phantom 4 Pro came out, and that's like, oh my god, I'm doing an idea for this video, and now the DJI Phantom 4 Pro is out. It's like I did when I did my other drone video, when I had the Phantom 2, the 4 came out the same day I was filming. Um, but I don't think I'll upgrade now, because it's only it's only got a few more sensors around here, um, and on the back and stuff, and it goes a little bit quicker, and it does 4K in 60 frames per second, which is, amazing, which is awesome, it's really good for filmmakers, but at the moment, I'm not shooting enough 4K for me to upgrade, really. And it's like £1,500. Yeah, but guys, hope you liked that video. It was fun driving around today, and the shots were really cool to see the drone get. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. And next video will be out Wednesday. So yes, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did, and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.